This is what you will get to sing the song about El Gato y los Ratoncitos. You're going to get a sheet of paper with all the animals, watercolor paper with a paintbrush, five craft sticks that you're going to use to glue each one of the mice, and a big, bigger craft stick to glue the cat on top of it. First, we're going to cut it, cut out the paper, and then I'm going to show you the different techniques in how to color the cat and the mice. And after that, you will pick whatever you want to do and make your own. But first, we're going to start by cutting the paper. We're going to cut out first the cat and then each mice. As you can see, there's more than five mice here and two cats. And the reason is because you are going to fold the paper to make them reversible like that. And you will see at the end the way that you're going to use them to sing the song. But first we cut, then we color, then we fold, then we glue, and then we sing. Like I'm going to show you, use water paint. So what you do is you water, you put water in your paintbrush, you go through the animal, you get more water, you count one, two, three like that, and then you color on top. And see how easy it is to just spread the paint all over. More water, more paint, and the rest of the body. even the tail. If you want to make something a little darker, you use your brush again and put a little more paint on top. See? How about that? Or how about his body. Let's do it a little dark. That's what's fun about watercolor. Then you rinse your color and do the rest. Start always watering the mouse. Then use the color. Start with the light colors. Put some paint on top. And then take a little more paint and do maybe the ears if you want to make them a little darker, like that. And the nose. This is the way the set looks with watercolor paints. So first you do every single animal with every single different color um, on the white part and then you can choose to do the animals on the gray part so just turn them around and do them the same way again remembering using getting the, the mouse wet and then using the color and then using the color again for the details like that okay so first you do that you let it dry then you turn it around and then you can either leave it like that or outline your, your mouses. And the way you do is you go on top of the line and just go all around the mouse like this. And that's another technique called outlining. You can also do the tail. So, watercolor and outline. The other thing that I'm going to show you is how does it look with markers. Now, there's a right way and a wrong way. Never use like a dark marker because it will take away all the details of the face. Always use light color markers if that's what you want to use. Use lighter markers to do your animals and that way you can see their little faces. See, that's how different colors in outline looks. And then you can either fill it with a crayon, different colors are the same, or you can use also color pencils. 
both ways are a lot of fun you should try after you finish coloring what you do is you fold it like that and then as you can see there's another line that you will fold together like that open it up and then use glue on this part to glue it on your craft stick like that and then let it dry for maybe half an hour or so this is the way that it would look as a set un gato y los cinco ratoncitos